Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you. And we're going to be talking about my new 40 terabyte server again. This is a second update that I've done. So if you've not seen it, make sure you go and check the first one so you get an idea of what I'm actually going on about. But uh, we uh, was asking for people's help with designs and stuff. And the name uh, has slightly changed a little bit. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you about that at the uh, end, or you know, at the end of the video. But one of the biggest questions that I gave to you guys, because I wanted your feedback on it, was I had a choice between two power supplies. One was a completely passive power supply, and the other one was the Leadex Gold 650 watt that I had just reviewed. Uh, and the, the boys at OC UK that stock it, they said, you can keep hold of that one, Tom, if you want. So I was like, nice one. Um, and then uh, I asked you whether you thought I should use it or not. Now, the, the choice between the two beca became that if I used the Leadex or the Superflower or whatever you want to call it, I would have to have got the cables custom done. And it was uh, the, the, the response was pretty much use the Superflower talk to Pexon, because I said that if I was going to uh, keep this one and use this one, I was going to get Pexon to do the cables for me. Well, lo and behold, over a weekend, good old Pexon did do it for me. So what I'm going to do, they're in here. This is the box I sent him, and this is how I got them back. So I'm going uh, uh, to show you these first and foremost, and then I'm going to talk to you about some of the other things that are going on with the project, because we have got a little bit of movement, and I've got a pretty clear idea of what I need to do now. I may even get on with it this weekend, as long as I don't get my nuts chopped off by the lady. Alrighty then. So, uh, the problem with the Leadex is uh, these connectors are um, uh, patented. Uh, so you can't actually buy the connectors that go on it. So what I had to do is I sent Pex on my entire box of cables. And this was what I got back. Now... There was a lovely little note in there, but where he's done them custom, I actually asked for the uh, cable um, combs to be fitted. And these are the ones where the, the cable in actually goes through the cable comb. So you can see that they're, they're on there. You can't get them off unless you take the ends off. Now this is obviously the power supply, uh, sorry, the motherboard end. We do have the power supply end there. So you can see that the, the clear cables. They sent me a lovely little note. And look, overclockers, you should take note of this. They're not sour ones. So that's much nicer. Fucking awesome. We got some um, Haribo. Now, the cables. So what I did have done is we're, uh, we've obviously got uh, 10 hard drives going in. So I've had them custom made. And the lengths are different on the two that I've got as well. So I've got one that's slightly shorter. So they are actually made to length. So that uh, the one that is the second bank, so I'll have one lot of hard drives which will be further up, that cable is actually 200 millimetres longer, so they, they should fit lush. Um, I had some Molexes done as well, because it's always handy to have the old Molexes. And then there is another SATA. Uh, one of these is going to be for the normal <coughs> operating system drive. And uh, there was a plan for the second one, I can't remember what it is. I think it's partly part to do with the um, uh, the fan control on the front of the case or something. I can't remember. But there, there is an, uh, a use for this. But essentially, I have had a look at these. It will focus. Come on. There we go. Thank you very much. Absolutely lush. Uh, I did say use one bit of white, but Pexon said to me, I took some art artistic license and I stuck a second one in there because he thought he needed it. And I can, the only thing I can say with these, and it is a very, very minor picky point, and that was you have two lots of cables at the bottom and they're a little bit tangled. Now it's not going to matter because when they go into the bottom, uh, it would have been fine, but it's just me being. You know, I reckon it could have just been a little bit better. Um, but like I said, that's me being ridiculously uh, picky. But I do want to show you these all lit up as well. So, uh, because obviously the connectors on the power supply actually light up. So it's going to be quite interesting to see what they look like. But as far as, uh, I know this is a, a server build and yes, it is ridiculous overkill 
for a server build, but I don't really care. It's my server build, so I wanted it to be a bit more unique. I mean, that's why it's got 10 4 terabyte hard drives in it, for God's sake. So, uh, yeah, let's move on to that bit. So there we have them all uh, in there, so that you can see all the blocks lit up and you can see the cables. I think that they look the dog's gonads. I'm so happy with them. I think I'm going to have a word with Pexon about braiding the uh, SAS fan out SATA cables for me now because I think I need a bit more red in the rig because it's predominantly going to be white. Now they do look quite messy there like that but once they're in the rig and everything they should look the gonads. So uh, thoroughly thoroughly pleased with these. They do say that if you need custom you need Pexon. Um, so uh, like I said I'm well happy well happy uh, so thank you very much pex um, and yeah i think you'll be seeing me back very shortly with some more for you to do but we need to talk a little bit more about the other stuff that's going on in the rig so i'm going to do that for you now okay so this is the way that i am going to do the hard drives this is confirmed now they are they're not fixed in the top but it's using the standard mounts and i've basically just bodged two together but it does mean that i'm going to have a section of hard drives up here that are not going to be cooled. Now luckily I've got the other fractal uh, that's still here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, on the other one, I'm going to remove this whole fan section and then I'm going to uh, basically make it so that the, it fits the front of this and we have three 120 millimeter fans in it rather than two. So we'll have all the airflow and then I'm going to custom make some mesh, uh, sorry, custom make some fan filters for the front and I'm going to try and keep it looking as uh, stock as possible. Obviously it's not going to be perfect um, but I'm going to be using fractal parts. Now quite uh, a lot of people will say yeah, it's predictable but I have got a bit of alley cut now guillotined because I'm going to uh, put a, the alley in the floor. I don't want any uh, upwards airflow or anything like that. Um, there is a dust filter in the bottom, but I just want to keep it nice and simple. Air in the front, and it's going to be going out the back and maybe out of this top section as well. But what I have got is some white and red carbon fibre vinyl. I'm probably, just like with Orca, I'm probably going to do the, the alley plate for the bottom. Probably just going to do it white, because then when the lights on the power supply and the red cables and everything are going through, it should look quite tidy. And that's really the state of play at the moment. I, what I need to do now is get the other fractal out, remove this, and in fact if I do this, I need to remove this panel from the other fractal, and then like I said, I'm gonna cut them and mount it into the front so that we've got 320 millimeter fans, and then I need to try and do some uh, magic with the original fan filters off the other one. I'm probably gonna make a dual set of fan filters. It sounds a bit nuts, but I'm gonna use the fan filter mesh from the bottom of this it's like a secondary um, set of fan filters so hopefully that'll all come out quite nice uh, but we've got the power supply done I need to now really get on with the case because once the case is done it's pretty much just building it uh, and then testing the raid card with the uh, passive air cooler on it so it's all quite exciting stuff really um, uh, th really the end of the video again a massive thanks to Pex he turned it around really quick, quality spot on, thoroughly recommend him to all of you. But for now at least this is tiny to, oh no, hang on, I need to stop, hang on, hang on, hang on. I nearly forgot, what a lunatic, I bet some of you are already switching off and everything. Um, right, so uh, I forgot to say that the name has slightly changed, ever so slight tweak. We're going to call it WD-40 now, as in the, the oil, the grease, you know the stuff that loosens, you know we got rusty stuff, use WD-40. Some mechanics out there might think of duck oil, same sort of thing with WD-40. Obviously, I've got 40 terabyte of Western Digital Reds, so that's where it's all come from. So now we're, we're slightly tweaking the idea because there, I did put ideas out there that you guys could, cut, could help me with logo designs for it. And uh, I'll put the link underneath. The thread on the forums is amazing. There's been loads and loads of really, really good ideas. And eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload them all to the Tiny Tom Logan Facebook page as well as a part of the photos for the build log because they're all epic. And I love the fact that, you know, some people have got an epic um, Photoshop or rendering skills and, you know, some people are doing it quite a raw nature as best as they very can. But it's the ideas that we're looking for. 
Um, so thank you very much to all of you. So now we're definitely going to call it WD40, which I think is quite funny, but it kind of means, you know, it has some meaning behind it as well. But go and have a look at the forums, go through the thread, have a look at the photos, because it, you might get some inspiration from somebody else's ideas. It's completely open doors, you can do what you want. I mean, there was one of them they even used um, my head as part of the logo, and it was epic. It actually made it look really... I want to say dated, but you know like when you have some really old advertising stuff and you have like the established in and it was that with my head on the top. It was epic. Um, Rafe did a WD-40 can. Rafe does fucking loads at the moment. He's epic. It's just every little thing you can get a rendering on, like on the OC3D Facebook page. That, uh, the dials, people think they're real, but no. That was Wraith Guard's rendering. Wraith renders. Wraith renders. Wraith renders. Wraith renders. I like the sound like Wraith renders. Wraith renders. Wraith renders. Anyway, so massive thank you to Pex. You can see the kind of white and red kind of ideas starting to come through now. Yes, I know a lot of people have gone nuts about the fact that I'm not using Linux. Plain and simple reason, I haven't got a clue about Linux, so I'm sticking to what I know. A lot of other people are giving me jip saying that this is a guide and I'm trying to tell you this is how to build a server. Well, no, this is just me sharing what I'm doing with mine. I've had, you know, normal servers in the past, black boring boxes. I've got to the point, I've even got all the lights ready for where it's going to live underneath the desk. So it's going to be lit up. I want something that's a little bit prettier. I spend so much time in this room. I wanted um, something that was obviously fast as feck but also something that just wasn't just something I wanted to hide, something I want to actually show off. So that's why I'm going to all this trouble. People have also been asking about Orca 2. Um, I don't know whether it's going to be Orca 2 or not yet. I don't know whether I'm going to stick with the black and white theme. Um, there's been some uh, chit chat about do it once and then leave it, which I think is quite cool as well. But one thing I can say is that like this one, um, it will have uh, a lot more red in it this time. I think that was where I should have maybe gone with Orca in the first place. Uh, but one thing I can say, so I'll let you into some of the specs. Um, there's three uh, partners that I'm working with on it. Asus, Corsair and Bits Power. There's, it's fully water-cooled, including the radiators, because Bits Power now make radiators. Bits Power have made me white radiators, which is uh, pretty damn epic. They look amazing. X99 Deluxe, uh, 5960X, 16 gigabyte, 3200 megahertz Dominator Platinums, which I'm probably, I've got the light bar mods for the top. Finally, I'm probably gonna um, spray those white and I'm gonna have some you know, flashy Corsair memory in there. Uh, 980 SLI is an absolute minimum. I do have three that I can use though, because I've got four 980s at the moment. If I go to the right drawer, I do have four 980s at the moment. La la la. So, there are four 980s kicking around here at the moment. Um, two of them are destined for my personal rig. You're wondering why they're all in the drawer, but you've got to keep them somewhere. Uh, one we always keep as uh, the, um, the reference sample that we got from NVIDIA. Uh, I'm probably going to end up making something crazy because I've got all of them that they've ever sent me and I, obviously I can't get, won't get rid of them. Um, but I don't know whether I'm going to go uh, uh, two graphics cards or whether I might go triple SLI. I don't need it. Um, so I'm probably just going to go uh, dual SLI, so normal SLI. And then obviously um, uh, the sound card in it. But I'm even considering getting an external Zonar with the um, XLR outputs on it. So we, you know, we never know. Um, power supply wise, I'm probably going to use the HX1000i. There's lots of bits and bobs. I don't really want to go into it too much now. But yeah, all bits power, lots of white. Um, I'm probably after, and this was one of the main reasons why I did the, uh, the EK uh, board recently I probably am going to use red pastel in this one um, and just do everything I possibly can to make sure that we don't run into any glitches or problems or anything like that so I probably I'm going to go red pastel because I want a bit more color in it this time uh, but yeah so that should uh, uh, t uh, wet your whistle for a little bit you know kind of like keep you on the end dangled the carrot all that kind of donkey malarkey <laughs> um, so yeah that's where that's at but I want to get this pretty much done first. 
Uh, but yeah, uh, it could be a little bit mental. So I'm going to try and make loads of these videos for you. But obviously, you need to watch them. Otherwise, no point in making them. But, bing! This is Tiny Tom Logan with another WD40 40 terabyte server update for you. Out. Ding!